Did you miss me? I know you did. Don't you don't have to lie. I know you miss me. <laughs> We're down to 4,271 boxes of Throne of Bell Drain Collector's Edition. Today, we are, have you seen the prices of some of these cards? The lifestyle of Oko. Have you seen what's going on with the whole? Just I. You'll see. You'll see. All right, everybody. So we're gonna continue to see how good Rudy can map the packs as we open these. This video belongs to my patron Brian. Brian S. No, not B. S. Stop with the jokes, Brian. It's also known as Sir Brian of the Fourth Dynasty, who rides a goblin through the night. Brian, good luck, man. May all the tacos stay crispy for you. So, we're going to see how things go here. We're going to see how we, uh, we're going to continue our counting and uh, tracking of the Showcase Common Uncommons. And, of course, we're going to continue our tracking of the spicy stuff. Boom! Hero of Asheville. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, pack one. I cannot believe the price of a Questing Beast Extended Art. Not This isn't even foil! Have you seen the price of that? Oh yeah, and there's a Troll King in the back if anybody cares. Have you seen the price of a non-foil card like that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And uh, other news, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, I noticed the prices of these throne boxes dipped for a while. And now all of a sudden they've been going back up. So really funky market action. Nice little bonus love struck there. Nice little bonus mace. All right, happily ever after. And there he is. The wildborn elf archer riding through the woods. So, so far, we've got nothing. I'm going to jump to the back to try to locate our uh, our hot packs. See if I can locate them. Because they may be in the middle, but they may be in the back. So, that's what she said. We're going to keep looking for them. All right, let's see, keep tracking our showcase there. And uh, I have to admit, this may be... God, oh, God. Yeah, holy... Have you seen... By the way, they have wishes. Even non-foil. That's why I was telling you guys about this. I know we're on like video 25 out of like 35. We're almost done with throne boxes. You hear that, patron? So I'm going to actually have to uh, recruit some more because I have a huge backlist of people wanting to do this, and uh, I didn't realize we'd burn through them this quickly. Oh! Oko! Oh, trickster. Six drop Oko. Not as good. He's grinning for no reason. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. All right, so we found the hot pack zone. We found the big boy, so we got our box topper right here. Opportunistic dragon, not the girl. So we know they're in the back, so we're going to continue to pull from the back over here. So we're going to go after our big daddy cards here. Uh, but like I, I remember um, a while ago, I was talking to everybody about these non-foil slots right here. About these rares you can get. Loves, like Fey of Wishes, and then like I said, Questing Beast, non-foil. We were talking about those a while back ago. And um, it appears to be uh, holding true like I was, uh, I kind of predicted, not really predicted, but I kind of had an instinct feeling that, you know, everybody keep an eye on some of these non-foil specialty cards because they just seem really cheap. All right, Troll. Castle and going into the serpent for box topper number two. So we're gonna see uh, if we're gonna get two. These next two packs should also be hot packs. Um, don't know if we're gonna get. It. I almost like the uh, story frame rares, man. The storybook. Uh, I don't know. I keep calling them different things. The uh, showcase story. But everybody's got a different name for them. I know there's an official name, but nobody really cares. And uh, three for nothing. Uncommon battle guard. Terrible spyglass. Eh. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Don't slap the taco with extra cheese. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Is that an Oko or a Garuk full art foil box topper? Oh my god. You know, it's like I just, I went, all I did was take her to Taco Bell. You gotta be kidding me. I think this is the most expensive card you can possibly get. Brian, bro, home skillet, cheese fries, tater tot with your waffle fries and the large curly fries. Oko Thief, full Monty, box topper extended, double Rudy Fairy. Oh my god, with the uncut fingernail. Wow. I don't even know what that's worth, but it's it's got to be exp that's got to be a $100 plus card. Holy crap, what a box opening. And folks, that's how quick your luck can change in this town, as they always say in Vegas. And here we are. Fake Curse, nice little bonus brawl mythic. Iron Crag, and oh my god. Circle of Loyalty, box topper, mythic, full Monty, double Whopper with cheese. Royale with cheese. 
unbelievable four months. Just, oh my. Well, those are our four hot packs. Um, let's, I, oh, Jesus Christ. What? All right. And remember, everybody, friendly reminder I'm doing in every video do not buy loose packs of Throne on the open market. Stewart's Rare, Preserver, and back to the Foil Rare Mirror Maid. Remember that do, under no circumstances, because now that I know I've hit the four big daddies, I can sell the rest of these packs on the open market if I'm running scumbagseller.com backslash Rudy forward slash reach around scumbag scam. These packs, if you're a bad person, I can sell and liquidate the rest of these packs and recoup my money since I've already taken the hot packs out. Remember that. So keep in mind. So just do not buy loose packs, everybody. Please be informed and understand. No, 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 no. People don't do that, Rudy. You're making it out to be that people are... Okay, fine. Don't believe me. I'm just telling you. Under Have the knowledge to understand what's going on. Bonus rare Bone Crusher. Uh, Knight's Charge. Bonus rare. Very nice. A nice little Escape uh, Extended Art. And just a Storm Fist Crusader Foil Rare today. So I just want everyone, it's very important that everybody understand that chances are if you see someone on eBay selling just a loose pack or a partial box, there's a reason for that. Just understand that. There's a reason you're getting a good deal, and there's a reason, huh, why would somebody open an entire sealed box and then just sell like a third of the packs? That's very strange. Yeah, remember, everything in this world has a reason. And if you're desperate for money and you're in it, oh God, I just don't even want to acknowledge that garbage card. People are going to do what they have to do to make a living. Sundering Stroke. Foil Rare. And again, that includes doing things that are not ethically correct. So just make sure as a buyer out there, those of you on eBay or taking advantage of eBay bucks and all that stuff, just make sure you understand um, what is going on out there. No matter what you like, if you whether you like it or hate it, it is going on. And it's important to at least um, kind of hedge against that risk and be informed. So Nice little Sky Blazer bonus rare. We got ourselves a Serpent. And, oh, uh, yeah, the old champion foil rare with the big old lightsaber. Not really a bad rare, actually. It's not a bad one. Uh, value is even actually held up pretty decent. Seen a little bit of play in my basement. And uh, Tree Folk. Uh, ew, foil ops. Is that still a thing? Is foil ops? You know, sort of curious pair. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. <coughs> wow, really? Three showcase frames in that pack. Holy smokes. That was really... And a signet in the middle. And Rudy's dragon. And a... Wow! These packs... Holy crap! Garuk, cursed, Rudy hunting. My goodness, foil mythic. Just, just for the heck of it. Just a regular. Just not even no no special. Just a foil mythic. Boom! Holy smokes! I mean, Brian. Honestly, man, congratulations. This was an epic box one. Scumbag Rudy will be deleting this video and going out and partying all weekend in my parents' basement's third floor below the WPN. I am going to be, wow, what an amazing folio of fancies for the last pack of box one. Don't worry, no one will see this video so I can say anything I want. Um, balls, pizza, uh, chicken tenders, waffle fries. Um, I can go for, uh, I kind of feel like a hamburger right now, too. So, anyways, but no, but all seriousness, though, Brian, congratulations, man. That was an amazing, you hit that Oko, man. Holy smokes. When I <laughs> What an am even if it gets banned or whatever, what an amazing pull in that box, man. Holy crap. And you had a questing beast, non uh, non foil. What an oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What was our count? Three of the uncommons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, three and eleven this time. Okay, that's what I really wanted to do. Okay. Resume. Three and eleven. Huh? Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to reset the count. I'm really curious. I want to keep tracking that. It's been, it's been a very fascinating thing. A lot of people have been tracking because a lot of those foil ones actually have some good value. So we actually want to keep tabs on that. Command Tower. Nice little boop. Oh! Cultoon of Attorney. Non-foil. Very nice. And we're in a turn of the Wild Speaker. Very, very nice, everybody. Um, one, okay, so I got my pack reset. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Just making sure where there's... Okay, hold on. Let's see how quick... I'm going to go right to the bottom and back. Let me see how quick I can uh, get to the hot packs. <clears throat> so we know it's not the front of the box. Let's go for the back of the box here. Inappropriate. Stop with the bad thoughts. We're going to go from the back. We're going to see uh, if that makes a difference here. And nothing. We got ourselves a taste of death. And we got ourselves a contender. And a regular 
Pyromancer Foil Rare. So I was not able to locate the hot packs from the front or the happy little back there. So this time we're going to go in the top on the second row. So we're going to try to locate it. And uh, let's see what we got here. All right, a little tree folk action. Uncommons, nothing. And middle three, no bonus rares. Ooh, nice little Rowan action for the uh, Spark Mage. Nice little bonus mythic. Charming Prince, and there we go. We found her, everybody. Witch's Vengeance for the nice box topper number one. All right, so based on that data, we're going to assume these next three packs on the right are going to be our hot packs. So we're going to go for all four hot packs real quick. Here we go. Sword Master for very nice. All right, anything... Ooh, the Realm Cloak Giant. This is a tough card to get in non-foil. And in foil. Very tough. I don't know if anyone realizes that. Vanish into Fable. We got ourselves a Stone Coil. And Witch's Vengeance None. Wow. So I did not locate the trend. I only found one. So there's no more in that direction. So these three packs are dead to me. Let's go back in the other direction on the bottom. Wow. It got me. That's the first time I haven't been able to locate like that. This is a tricky little box, man. I'm having a hard time locating the packs. All right, we got a nice bone giant there. A little bonus rare. We've got ourselves a nice little troll. Talisman. There we go. Doom Foretold Full Monty Box Topper. All right. So this one we had a middle. So we had one on the top. There was nothing the other direction. So these three packs, like I said, are dead to me. I identified the second one at the bottom, which means these next two here are going to be our other two hot packs. So let's see if I'm right. So here we go. All right, nice Carver. And let's see here, Uncommons. And by the way, this entire box so far, zero Uncommon Showcase uh, cards. Anybody notice that? It's a little bit uh, kind of discern, kind of crappy. Tomb of Legends, Dance of the Mance. There we go. Boom, Rudy called it. Worthy Knight, Foil Rare, Full Monty Box Topper. Not one of the big daddies, but still very nice. And for our very... Last hot pack of the box, everybody. Here we go. We are looking at a Carver. We are looking at... And, ooh, finally, our very first Ember Shield Breaker. We finally got an uncommon one there. Haven't had any in a while. And here we go. Battle Guard. Ooh, Fable. By the way, has anybody seen the price of Fable Passage? Holy slap, my testicles inside of a pretzel. Unbelievable. And Castle Embrith is our fourth and final Full Monty box topper, everybody. All right, so these last five packs are dead to me, but just in case, let's see if we get a... Every once in a while, we get some little other bonus, but there's nothing else. Those are the four big Full Monty cards, everybody. Uh, I'm not expecting anything else in this particular video. Maybe we'll get lucky in something in the middle slot. Finally, an uncommon... Oh, we got a Bone Crusher. Nice little bonus there. And, uh, hey, Mythic Kenrith. Very nice. Uh, lightsaber guy with a nice haircut. And we are back to the acclaimed contender. Foil Rare. So yeah, we got four more packs here that, again, friendly reminder, if you're a scumbag store, you're going to dump the rest of these packs to your customers at full price, knowing you've already gotten all the box toppers and the full Monty hot pack hits. So keep that in mind, friendly reminder. And three in the middle, nothing. We got a dragon rare. We got first, and uh, just a serpent regular foil rare. I'm hoping for something weird. Sometimes we can get some other spice, though. In the mythic slots, we can get some Oko or Garuk. Hidden inside the middle slot. We've gotten some weird stuff before. So it is still possible. It's just not probable. So. Ah, oh, terrible. Griffin Common. Once upon a time, baby. Have you seen the prices? Extended art and a nice foil rare midnight clock. That once upon a time, man. Just like Fable Passage. And oh my goodness. Big money. No whammies, everybody. Unicorn. All right. Let's right, see what we got. See what we got. See what we got. And Emberth Shield Reaper and nothing. Uh, Four-headed Rudy the Turtle. Sundering Stroke and a happily ever after regular foil rare. All right, everybody. Very last pack. Honestly, man, very nice box opening today, everybody. Brian, that first box was just, I mean, the opposite of Pound Town. I'm talking inverted Pound Town. It was amazing. Hold that Oko just blew, that thing was out of control, everybody. That Teller of Tales, little brawl action there. Nice uh, vampire guy who hasn't moved, or I'm sorry, Gargoyle. And end it, wow. I have not actually seen this before. Realm Cloak Giant, standard foil mythic. This is not an easy card to get. I think it's the very first time in 25 videos we've even seen one. So ending the video on two commons. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two and ten. I think the other one was three and eleven. Very interesting. Definitely some variance on that one. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching again. Congratulations, Brian. As always, thank you all for watching my videos, supporting me, and allowing me the privilege of entertaining. And I guess sometimes teaching, but not a very good teacher. You should probably get it like a real guy who's not in a basement. All right, Giggity.